class 10 friends today we are going to solve a doubt which is asked by many students let us listen to the question a tank is filled by three pipes with uniform flow the first two pipes operating simultaneously fill the tank in the same time during which the tank is filled by the third pipe alone the second pipe fills the tank five hours faster than the first pipe and four hours slower than the third pipe. Find the time taken by the first pipe alone to fill the tank. Now in this case we have three pipes so we will write over here first pipe then we'll write second pipe and we will write third pipe and we'll make the columns. The first will be the time in hours taken by the first, second and third pipe. Now they are asking us find the time taken by the first pipe alone to fill the tank. Which means I should take the first pipe taking X hours to fill the tank. Okay. The question says that the second pipe fills the tank 5 hours faster than the first pipe. So if first pipe is taking X hours to fill the tank, then the second pipe is going to take 5 hours less because it is filling 5 hours faster. So the time taken by the second pipe is going to be X minus 5. And then it says that the second pipe fills it 4 hours slower than the third pipe. Yeah, so this X minus 5 is 4 hours slower, which means third pipe is 4 hours faster than this. So we will write as X minus 5 minus 4, which means it is X minus 9. Okay, now here we take the fraction of tank filled in 1 hour. So first pipe, if it takes X hours to fill the tank, then in one hour, it will fill one upon X, that much fraction of the tank. The second pipe will fill one upon X minus five, that much of a fraction of the tank. And the third pipe will fill X minus ninth fraction of the tank in one hour. Okay, now what are they saying? They are saying that the time taken by the first and second pipe is equal to the time taken by the third pipe. Okay, so with this we will say therefore the fraction filled by first and second pipe in one hour will be equal to the fraction filled by the third pipe in one hour. All right. So let us now substitute the values. Fraction filled by the first and the second pipe in one hour means it will be one upon x plus one upon x minus five. So we write that. And that is equal to the fraction filled by the third pipe. That is this. So it is. Now we get an equation which you have to simply solve. So let us take the LCM here. In the numerator. Which is equal to. Got that? Now solve this on your own. And let us see if your answer matches with the answer that I get. All right. Cross multiply. Five x got cancelled, so now we have x squared minus eighteen x plus forty five equal to zero. That will give us Did you get like this? Now we use the zero product rule. Now this x equal to 3 will be not applicable. The reason why? Because you will see out here 
Can you see this is x minus 9? If x is 3, then x minus 9 will be negative time. And the time taken by the third pipe is x minus 9 hours. So you cannot have 3 minus 9, which is minus 6 hours. That is why this is not applicable. Okay. So therefore, you will say that time taken by the first pipe equal to x, which is 15 hours and that is our answer. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to solve this and you got the same answer when you solved it on your own. Give yourself a star. If you've done that, write it in the comment box. Write it below just now if you have got that star and now all the best for your examinations because I know you come for the doubts mostly before the examinations, right? So all the best for your examinations and like, share and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you for another doubt soon. Thank you for watching.